The plot, the mystery, the events that we did not expect. Ever thought history was dull? Think again. Today we unveil the top 10 plot twists that occurred in the real world. Its plot is indescribable as if it is a movie from Netflix. 10. Archduke's Assassination On June 28, 1914, the world witnessed a historic event that would change the course of history. Gavrilo Princip and his group, known as the Black Hand, had a mission to assassinate Archduke Franz Ferdinand in Sarajevo. But fate had other plans. As the Archduke's carriage passed over, Princip's colleague attempted to throw a grenade, but a delay caused it to explode under the next passing car. Panicking, he swallowed a cyanide pill and jumped into a nearby river. However, the pill only induced vomiting, and the river, a mere six inches deep, failed to provide an escape. Dejected, Gavrilo Princip sought solace in a local restaurant. Little did he know the Archduke's story was far from over. Following the failed attempt, Franz Ferdinand determined to visit the injured, headed to the hospital in his newly introduced automobile. And the driver's unfamiliarity led to a wrong turn. Attempting to reverse, the car stalled, right in front of the restaurant where Princip was having lunch. Seizing the moment, Gavrilo Princip walked out, witnessed the Archduke standing nearby, and fired into his neck. 9. First Female President of the U.S. In the annals of American history, few figures stand as prominently as Woodrow Wilson, elected to the presidency in 1913. His influence in geopolitics during World War I and its aftermath left an indelible mark on the global stage. However, Wilson's later years would be marked by a remarkable story of resilience and leadership. Known for his prolific speeches, meetings, and unparalleled accessibility to the press, Woodrow Wilson was a public figure unlike any other. His fervor and commitment were unwavering. Following a global meeting in Paris in 1919, Wilson returned home, only to face a significant setback. In October of the same year, a debilitating stroke struck him down. Unbeknownst to the public, his wife, Edith Wilson, and a select few advisors became the guardians of the secret. Faced with a critical choice, Edith Wilson confronted the reality of her husband's condition. She decided to shield the public from the truth, presenting two options – abandon Wilson's dreams or assume the mantle of leadership herself. Edith chose the latter, announcing that the president would withdraw from the public eye to focus on his work. Over the next year, Edith Wilson, in essence, became the de facto president of the United States. She navigated the country through pivotal moments, seeking the president's counsel when his health allowed. Unbeknownst to the world, a woman was steering the ship of state. This extraordinary chapter in American history remained shrouded in secrecy for years, but today, Edith Wilson is acknowledged as the first acting female president of the United States. 8. Julius Caesar In the year 75 BC, the mighty Julius Caesar found himself in an unexpected predicament, captured by the notorious Cilician pirates infesting the Mediterranean Sea. Little did the pirates know, they had ensnared a man of remarkable wit and cunning. Caesar didn't cower in fear. Instead, he embraced their company, participating in their exercises and games for an astonishing 38 days. To pass the time, he even entertained his captors with poems and speeches, showcasing his intellect. The pirates, perhaps underestimating their captive, demanded a modest 20 talents of silver for Caesar's release. Unimpressed, Caesar countered, insisting they ask for at least 50 talents. The pirates acquiesced and sealed the deal. Caesar notified the pirates of his intention to have them apprehended and crucified upon his release. Much to his astonishment, they found his warning amusing and shared laughter in unanimous agreement. Upon gaining his freedom, Caesar wasted no time. Mustering a fleet of ships, he sailed back to the harbor of Miletus, where he discovered the pirates still anchored off the island. True to his word, Caesar captured every last one of them and carried out the promised crucifixions. 7. Juan Pujol Garcia In the shadows of World War II, an unlikely hero emerged, Juan Pujol Garcia, a Spanish government official whose allegiance was anything but clear. What began as a pro-Nazi facade would lead to one of the most remarkable double-agent stories in history. A fervent pro-Nazi, Juan Pujol Garcia, caught the attention of the Germans during World War II. With his frequent travels to London on official business, he seemed like the perfect candidate for espionage. Little did the Germans know, they were about to be outwitted by a master of deception. In reality, Pujol had a different agenda. Initially rejected by the Allies at the onset of the war, he decided to take matters into his own hands. Crafting a false identity as a pro-Nazi fanatic, he infiltrated the German ranks as a spy. 
His reports, seemingly credible, earned him handsome pay and the trust of his German handlers. Pujol's creativity knew no bounds. He invented fictional sub-agents, attributing false information and mistakes to them. Unbeknownst to the Germans, he then approached the British, transforming into a double agent with a mission to thwart German operations. Pujol's most significant feat came in 1944, when he misled the Germans about the Allied invasion of Normandy. Supplying false information, he convinced the Germans that the main attack would be in the Pas de Calais, leading them to allocate large forces there. His cunning not only deceived the enemy, but also provided crucial financing to the British OSS, with the funds originally meant for his network, D340,000. Juan Pujol Garcia, the master of manipulation, received both the Iron Cross from the Germans and a member of the Order of the British Empire. His unparalleled contribution to the Allied cause remains a testament to the power of strategic deception. Six an enraged emperor. At the zenith of the conflict between the Roman and Persian empires, the formidable Alexander the Great harbored a desire to worship at a temple on the island of Tyre. However, the island's leaders, driven by a commitment to neutrality, rebuffed the emperor's request, fearing the repercussions of the ongoing war against Persia. The refusal was a spark that ignited Alexander's fury, interpreting it as a blatant declaration of war. In a swift response, he seized Old Tyre, located on the mainland, considering it a strategic move to exert dominance. Undeterred, Alexander embarked on a monumental endeavor, spending six months constructing a bridge to connect the mainland to the island of Tyre. Utilizing logs and stones salvaged from the ruins of Old Tyre, he forged a path that would forever alter the geography of the region. As Alexander's forces reached Tyre, vengeance unfolded. In a brutal display, he crucified nearly every inhabitant of the city and condemned the survivors to a life of slavery. The island, once a bastion of defiance, now stood conquered and forever changed. Today, Tyre remains a peninsula, a testament to the consequences of a leader's wrath. 5. A rude welcome costs an empire. Genghis Khan, harboring hopes of allying, dispatched a sizable trading caravan to Quaresmia. However, the local governor's disdain for these emissaries led to their arrest and a grim sentence death. Seeking resolution, Genghis Khan sent ambassadors to plead for the release of his men and clarify his alliance intentions. Instead, the Shah's brutal response shocked the Mongol leader. One ambassador was beheaded, and the rest were sent back with their heads shaved, a profound insult to the Khan. Infuriated by the Shah's audacity, Genghis Khan, the master strategist, initiated plans for revenge. With unparalleled force, he unleashed the Mongol horde upon the unsuspecting empire determined to make them pay for their grave transgressions. The Mongol invasion proved relentless, forcing the Shah to flee to an island off the Caspian coast, where his empire crumbled under the weight of Genghis Khan's retribution. The once mighty Khwarezmia was reduced to ruins, a testament to the cost of a rude welcome. 4. A Diplomat Slip-Up at the Berlin Wall On a pivotal night, the Berlin Wall crumbled, and fatigue hung heavy on East German diplomat Gunter Schabowski. Fresh from a draining trip to Poland, he faced the task of revealing changing travel rules in a live press conference. Uninformed about the details, including the crucial fact that East Berliners could now apply for West visas, he stumbled through a rushed and unclear announcement. The press conference, uncharted territory for Schabowski, commenced with vague statements like, Inside the country can now be applied for without prerequisites, conditions, or family relationships. Permits will be issued on short notice. A journalist's inquiry about the effective date caught him off guard, and in a bid to appear informed, he blurted out, uh, immediately now. As I understand it, it goes into effect immediately, without delay. News of this impromptu declaration spread like wildfire, prompting East Berliners to converge at the wall, pleading for freedom. Unprecedented in scale, this gathering dwarfed previous protests. Coincidentally, a border guard, grappling with personal concerns about cancer test results, found himself indifferent to his duties. In a historic twist of fate, he nonchalantly opened the first gate, setting in motion the liberation of East Berlin. In this surreal chain of events, a diplomat slip-up, fueled by fatigue and inadequate briefing, inadvertently became the catalyst for the fall of the Berlin Wall, marking a momentous chapter in the reunification of a divided city. 3. RMS Carmania In a bizarre twist of naval warfare during World War I, both the Germans and the British attempted to deceive each other by disguising their ships. The Germans, seeking to dupe British vessels, disguised the SMS Cap Trafalgar as the British liner RMS Carmania, 
Unbeknownst to them, near the island of Trinidad off the Brazilian coast, fate played a whimsical hand. Ironically, the first ship encountered by the disguised SMS Cap Trafalgar was the genuine RMS Carmania, commanded by Captain Noel Grant. Recognizing the Germans' ploy, Captain Grant swiftly launched a surprise attack in the early morning hours, catching the Germans off guard. The ensuing battle led to the eventual sinking of the SMS Cap Trafalgar, turning the tables on the Germans' attempt to trick British ships. It was indeed a testament to the unpredictability of wartime strategies and a nod to the ironic twists of naval engagements during the Great War. 2. Princess Olga of Kiev Princess Olga of Kiev, thrust into power after the Drevlians killed her husband, embarked on a ruthless quest for revenge. Faced with a marriage proposal from the Drevlians to mend ties, she responded with a shocking act, burying the entire envoy alive. Feigning acceptance, she then orchestrated a deadly betrayal, burning Drevlian nobles alive in a rigged bathhouse. Exploiting their trust once more, Olga invited the Drevlian populace to a feast disguised as a funeral, only to unleash her soldiers on over 5,000 unarmed and inebriated civilians. With the city in chaos, the Drevlians surrendered, offering a massive tribute to spare their lives. Seemingly merciful, Olga requested only a bird from each house as tribute, a seemingly benign ask. However, her true intent unfolded as she ordered her men to tie sulfur matches to the birds, transforming them into fiery messengers. Released, the burning flock returned to their nests, setting ablaze the entire city. Princess Olga's vengeful tactics, marked by cunning deception and calculated cruelty, left an indelible mark on the tale of Kiev's history. 1. Whitey Bulger Whitey Bulger, the elusive figure at the helm of an organized crime syndicate in Boston during the late 70s and early 80s, baffled authorities by evading justice for an extended period. Unbeknownst to many, Bulger had a secret weapon, a friend entrenched within the FBI, operating as an informant. This alliance elevated him to the status of a top echelon informant in the FBI's ongoing war against the Mafia. Exploiting his unique position, Bulger maintained direct contact with Mafia bosses, feeding the FBI crucial information about their activities. In a calculated move, he betrayed other organized crime families, ensuring their arrests and subsequently taking over their territories. It proved to be a symbiotic relationship. His FBI friend gained notoriety for successful busts, while Bulger expanded his criminal empire. However, Bulger's reign of unchecked power came to a halt in 1995 when he was apprehended. Subsequently, he faced a litany of charges, including 11 murders, drug trafficking, extortion, money laundering, racketeering, and more. The legal system handed down two continuous life terms in prison, sealing the fate of the once untouchable crime lord. The saga of Whitey Bulger stands as a stark reminder of the complex interplay between law enforcement and organized crime in American history. History's plot twists are like puzzle pieces that come together to form the world we live in today. If you enjoyed this whirlwind tour through the unexpected, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more jaw-dropping revelations. See you on the next episode.